Hi guys, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to install Google Search Console on Shopify and get it verified. And we're back at our test store again, where we'll be installing Google Search Console. The first thing you'll need to do is set up a Google Console account, select Start Now, work through the prompts. And we come to this screen here where you have two options on how you wanna install Google Search Console into your Shopify store, either by the whole domain or a specific URL. For example, you might have a subdomain that you only want to have verified, and that's fine, maybe like www or you can use the whole domain level, which covers all your subdomains, HTTPS or HTTP, and you have to install this at the DNS level, which I'll show you first. And then we can cover this one later on if you're specifically looking to cover a URL. Let's copy and paste our domain. Like so, paste that in, continue. What we need to do now is just verify the domain at the DNS level, and they've given us a record that we have to add to our domain name registrar. So it is a TXT file, which is recommended. You can do a C name, but we'll just stick with a TXT. So we'll copy the verification. I do have my domain in a Namecheap account, and here it is right here under my dashboard. So I'll go to manage and under the domain advanced DNS here, select this, come down to add a new record, and we want to do a TXT. Select TXT record. Firstly, I'll just post in the first part of the record. And as I need to know the host, I'll just quickly come back and find the instructions. So for this, you can copy and paste your full domain again, but it's just easier to say because that's essentially the same thing. And just click Save Changes. It should take a few moments to work. Come back to the Google Search Console and click Verify. Okay, it's not working right now because it's going to take a few moments to update. Okay, now given a couple of minutes, let's try again. Okay, and we're good to go. Now it's very important to get your Google Search Console account set up because eventually you're going to need to integrate and connect all your Google properties together, especially your Google Analytics and your Google Ads account, which I'll be showing you in future videos. Google uses Search Console as additional signals. So having them all integrated and sending all the information back to Google Analytics and to Google Ads will help you get better results in your marketing campaigns. Okay, and next I will show you how to install it at the Shopify level using the URL prefix. So again, we have to copy and paste our complete domain URL, come back to the Search Console, paste it in with the HTTPS and all the backslashes, et cetera, et cetera. Hit continue. Okay, so it's already verified, so you don't need to really do that. As I've already verified the site, Google Search Console has brought me through to the dashboard. For whatever reason, if you need to come back and verify your URL instead of the entire domain, you can just simply come to the, the settings in the account, come under where it says to verify. We'll say it's either you're an owner or not at the moment, and you have four different options on how to get that verified. Now, if you've already connected a Google Analytics or Google Tag Manager account, you can select verify on any one of these. And even though I hit verify and I have installed it on the account, it says that I've failed the verification process. And it can happen from time to time, although you've got Google Analytics installed on the site, you can use another method, which I've just done using the Google Tag Manager. Another option is to be able to select HTML again and copy this snippet of code. The instructions mention that it needs to be installed in the head section before the first part of the body. Coming to the back end of our test site, there's two ways to install the snippet on the site in the code itself. Come to settings, come to online store, select online store. If you can't find it, you can always search it in the bar here. Once this loads, come to these three dot ellipses, click that, select edit code, and then come down to the header section where you can see I've already installed the Google Tag Manager. And then just under the opening head section, just give it a couple of spaces and paste that in and hit save. It has to take a couple of moments before it updates. I've given that a couple of minutes so it will update on the website. So let's try verify that now. Okay, it's successful. So three ways I've verified the site, a little overkill, but for demonstration purposes, I'll show you all the different methods to be able to get the site verified in the Google Search Console. Lastly, playing around with the code is not your cup of tea. There is an easier solution. And as mentioned in my previous video, if you come to settings under apps and sales channels, if you haven't installed it yet, come to the app store, look up the XO, it says XO insert code, and then select install app, then add new code, give it a title, search console, you can add it to the entire store, and we're just adding it to the header section. So just paste it in, hit save, and then Bob's your uncle. 
And as we've already verified that in the Google Search Console, there's no point doing it again. That's just showing you another way how to install the snippet, which is a little bit more simpler. And there you have it, guys. Thanks for watching today. In the next video, I'll show you how to connect your Google Search Console with your Google Analytics 4 account. So I'll see you then.